Hi, I'm Elizabeth Durazio coming to you from the Trinity Episcopal Church right here in Claremont. And in this beautiful building and home of peace and healing, we have some great news as we check in again with Liza Regan as she tells us about Repurpose by Maddie's Hands and the great ongoing work that they're doing with these fabulous purses and helping people in need and how we can check our closets and make a difference too. So thank you for coming again. And you've really been taken off since our last show. Tell us what's happened. Yes, we have. Well, we just had our first year anniversary or our first year birthday. Mm -hmm. And we've run several drives since last year. Um, and uh, we've had hundreds of purses now go through this project. Um, we had our Christmas drive mm -hmm. and then we have a, a Valentine's Day drive. And now on top of the purse project, we also now dabble in furniture and clothing and um, just so many good things are, um, are flowing through this project. Now. And this really started as an idea you had, I'm friends with you on Facebook because we're college roommates, and you started sharing this idea of, gee, instead of you know, having all these purses in your closet you know, that you don't use or you get a new one, what do you do with the old one? What if you gave it to me and let's put some stuff in? And we hit the dollar stores and we took our makeup samples and we got them, we put them in these great bags and they went to moms in need or people who moved or came on hard times and it just grew from there. Tell us how the, the bag project has really taken off. Well, um, so I started off with one purse because mm -hmm. I am not a purse lady <laughs> and I had one extra purse lying around and I filled it up with, um, I, like you said, like I hit the dollar store and filled it up with goods and then I put the word out on social media mm -hmm. to see if anybody else wanted to join in. And I have had now schools join in. Um, I get uh, hundreds of purses donated, empty purses, some very new, some gently used. And now I deliver them to schools or places that want to help do run the project. And then they'll fill them up with goods. And um, from there, I am partnered now with uh, Baby Steps in Claremont. Mm -hmm. And so I drop off our purses to Baby Steps, which then distributes to um, over 200 families. Um, now Hope for Recovery New Hampshire is uh, sharing the same building with uh, Baby Steps. So our purses and backpacks are gonna go to Hope for New Hampshire Recovery. And those purses are going to make their way around New Hampshire. So purses, backpacks, Started in the Upper Valley, Newbury and Claremont, and in, now in a little home <laughs> on a kitchen table, <laughs> and, and now it's and now it's everywhere throughout so, New Hampshire. Yep. So, if for any of you who gave, we want to thank you for donating your purses. But what can we do to donate now? Where are some drop-off points, and what are things you need so we can keep this going? Because as you take on the whole state, I imagine the need's going to keep be pretty busy. Well, um, we have a few drop-off uh, locations. Um, we have two schools. Um, Mount Royal Academy, which is in Sunapee, and New England Classical Academy, which is right here in Claremont. And then I have three other consignment shops that have taken on the project and are donating their goods and collecting for us. Mm -hmm. um, one's in Bradford and one's in Sunapee and one is in uh, Newport, I do believe. And um, in, you can drop off purses, product, dry goods, um, it's just kind of anything, non-perishable items. And the idea is kind of to fill these things. And if you, if you want to see what's in them, we've got some tissues, some gloves, some hand sanitizer, some combs, you know, things like this, which we kind of have around the house or we purchase in these packages and we think, okay, I've got that in my purse. Or, you know, every mom has how many containers of hand sanitizer, but to someone who's on the move or perhaps going from shelter to shelter or just recently yeah. displaced from their home, they don't have this. No, no. Um, in fact, um, I just heard about um, a family that lost their home in a fire. And so everything that I've collected for the show is going to go to this family. And it's basic necessities. There's shampoo, conditioner, lotions, toothbrush, toothpaste, just things that you don't think about, you know, that we just take, a, take for granted every day. And, um, uh, but they just lost all that in, in a fire. And there's also, like I said, like gloves, hats, mitts, because it's a winter drive. Um, you can pick up all of these items at the dollar store. This is a dollar. What we'll do is split it up into, mm -hmm. into three purses. So now I've got three items um, for our purses. Same with this. This is a package of six um, Kleenex. So now six purses are going to have, have that and a package of combs, 12. Mm -hmm. So those will all go into the purses too. I really, really, really love doing our ladies bags. Um, we do, uh, you know, hair items um, and makeup and perfume, just things that moms 
um, that are coming down on a hard time or whatever, um, they don't have money for it. Moms don't buy themselves this kind of stuff right. anyways. Kids first. But as, kids first, yes, exactly. So um, I really, really love to um, collect items and those go in our purses and um, and I just love it when we get pretty purses too. It just makes them, um, instead of just a bag, mm -hmm. it makes the gift very beautiful and um, dignified. And, and it really like is very uplifting. Uh, and it's a joy to give too. <laughs> so. well, I want to thank every one of our viewers because you've been part of Making Repurpose, now a statewide program that originated right here in the Upper Valley. And we want to keep it going. So as the holidays come through and you get a new person, maybe you've got those old ones in the closet, make sure you take the time to think, you know what, this could make someone's day and stop off and maybe grab some toiletries or makeup items or non-food items that they could use to fill these. You can find out the drop-off points in the bottom of your screen. And again, this is one great thing about living in this state because people like Liza and the people at Repurpose make a difference every day.